SolidWorks 3D CAD software delivers powerful design functionality with the intuitive SolidWorks user interface to speed your design process and make you instantly productive. Hello, I'm Rex Celentine. In this video, we will explore the visualization capabilities of SolidWorks RealView. Designers and engineers use RealView to see their models in a realistic and dynamic representation without the need to render. Let's look at how this works. Real view is one of the standard viewing modes, like shaded view. But notice that in our case, it's not listed. This normally means that your graphics card is not one of the professional graphics cards required to enable real view. For NVIDIA, the only graphics cards that are certified for SolidWorks are the NVIDIA Quadro cards. For this tutorial, we are using the HP Z420 workstation with NVIDIA Quadro K4000 card. And the K4000 card is a supported card. Let's find out what else we have to do to enable real view. Tip 1. Use HP's Performance Advisor, included with select HPZ workstations. This exclusive HPZ workstation feature makes performance enhancements and lets you know whether you have the recommended drivers and settings in place. Our machine has the wrong version driver. Clicking on the driver link will download the latest certified driver. After installing, our system is now optimized for SolidWorks. First, you'll need to make sure that your model has the correct appearances. In SOLIDWORKS, the way your material appears is called appearances. Adding appearances is a simple process, and SOLIDWORKS includes a large set of appearance libraries for you to work from. By switching Real View on, your product looks much more realistic. Scenes are available in most shading modes in SOLIDWORKS. A scene is like a room or an outdoor space that you put your model in. Scenes have two basic components, a background and an environment. The background is what you set your model in. The environment uses a special photo that gives reflections and realistic lighting. The SOLIDWORKS team works closely with NVIDIA and HP Workstations Group to optimize performance. So with the right hardware, you're able to see a detailed model that is still fully interactive. By turning on shadows, your design immediately looks more realistic. Ambient or self-shadows are easily seen on less glossy objects. Tip 2. Use the Display Customization interface to change the highlighted settings shown here to get better realism when you navigate in real view. By now you should have a much better idea of the value of SOLIDWORKS real view and how you can use it on a regular basis. Realistic visualization as a whole leverages the latest technologies in CPU and graphics cards. Therefore, you'll get the most out of your SOLIDWORKS graphics when you have the correct hardware. So the next question is how to choose the correct graphics card for your new HPZ workstation, right? Here is a list to work from. Choose K for Kepler. It is the latest generation card from NVIDIA. Next, make sure you have enough memory. In this case, we are using 2.5 gig onboard graphics, so we need at least this amount of memory. Therefore, a Quadro K4000 would be the recommended graphics card choice. We have only just touched the surface of real-time realism inside of SOLIDWORKS, featuring the reliable performance of HPZ workstations coupled with the latest NVIDIA Quadro graphics. These technologies provide you the power you need to get the job done.